Hi booktube, it's Chelsea and believe it or not we are finally here with a review. <clears throat> I finished my first book in April, um, Almost Famous Women by Megan Mayhew Bergman, published in 2014. A collection of short stories focusing on the lives of real women who were almost famous or who were lesser well known. Um, people like Butterfly McQueen, um, Allegra Byron, Byron's illegitimate daughter. These are his. I don't want to call them historical fiction, but they take these real historical figures and Megan Mayhew Bergman does an amazing job writing imaginatively about them, imagining what their lives would have been like, imagining specific interactions they would have had with different types of people, and overall I really enjoyed this story collection. <clears throat> I will say that I felt some of the stories were slightly lacking. I ended up giving this a book a 3.5 stars on Goodreads because I just didn't quite feel that everything knocked it out of the park. The ones that I loved, I absolutely adored. Um, things like The Pretty Grown Together Children, which focused on the Hilton sisters, a pair of conjoined twins who were joined at the hip back in, I believe, the 40s and 50s, and told, you know, story followed their life then and their life now as they work as, ba as grocery baggers in a small town who are kind of always dreaming about and thinking about the stage and what their lives were like. There's one called Saving Butterfly McQueen, which is about the real Butterfly McQueen who played Prissy in Gone with the Wind, which is one of my favorite, although highly problematic, movies. Um, <clears throat> anyway, but Butterfly McQueen was a known atheist, and so the story focuses on a young girl who lived in Butterfly's neighborhood who was part of the church, and this interaction that this young girl who is evang evangelizing for the church has with Butterfly McQueen when she knocks on the door and, you know, Butterfly kind of tells her how she feels about religion and faith and they have this moment and it's more about the girl and the girls come to grips with things like sexuality and religion and propriety and medicine and science and atheism and all of these things but all of those things are of course facilitated by this meeting with Butterfly McQueen. One of the other stories I really liked was called The Siege at Whale Kay which told the story of Joe Carstairs, Joe being a nickname who was a real person who I guess was an ambulance driver in World War II, then she raced speedboats, she bought an island called Whale Cay, she was always throwing parties, she was this very masculine lesbian figure who had affairs with all kinds of famous people, including Marlene Dietrich, who's, who is a character in the story. That story is also from the perspective of kind of an outsider, it's from the perspective of a girlfriend that Joe has currently, but Joe and Marlene Dietrich have this kind of something relationship together and the girlfriend kind of watches this happen and has to come to terms with it and decide if she's okay with it. <clears throat> it's also got really great um, lyrical prose and kind of expositions on things like human sexuality and love and what that means and how those two intersect. So like I said, when, I, when the stories were good for me, they were really, really good. When they weren't so good, they really kind of missed the mark. There were some, I don't want to talk too specifically about any of the ones I really disliked because I don't want to prejudice anybody who's still wanting to read them because I think with short story collections so much of it is independent on the person but for me some of the things in general that I didn't like um, that were shared amongst some of the stories I didn't like were things like endings that I felt were too abrupt um, stretches of history or historical fiction that I just didn't quite agree with characters I really didn't like and so <clears throat> That's why I say that all in all it was kind of like a three and a half star experience for me. I think that Mayhew May Megan Mayhew Bergman is absolutely fantastic. I read her first collection, Birds of a Lesser Paradise, and that really stuck out to me because it was the first time I'd ever really read a short story collection by a single person, all focusing on kind of a thematic line, a through line of props in the story or tropes in the story and that collection all of her stories kind of have to do with the intersections of humans and animals so looking at a pregnant woman who's breastfeeding as a kind of you know cow who's just producing milk or you know a woman who is attacked by a wolf and this always and this feels in her heart that she's kind of become this loner and this outsider because of the way her face looks after the attack kind of some of those things it's hard to explain but that was really the first time that I'd seen that done on a short story collection and it didn't transfer as well here I thought that Megan Mayhew Bergman was kind of trying to do the same thing and that she was trying to make these stories all kind of about women and feminism 
and the the missed chances in life and how our lives, you know, affect each ensuing part of our, you know, how the beginning of our lives affect the end of our lives and so on. But I just feel like some of them missed the mark in a way that kind of brought the whole collection down. This review is sounding really negative. It's sounding a lot more negative than I meant it to. And that's not my intention because overall, I really enjoyed it. More stories I enjoyed than I didn't enjoy. But like I said, there were just some that missed the mark for me in kind of a big way. I read it on ebook from my public library. I thought that it offered amazing um, examples of storytelling. There are some really good kind of root, I think, constructive issues and mechanics of the story that I'm going to be able to pull out, um, localizing your characters in a specific environment, economy of word choice, certain turns of phrase that I feel I need to look at more closely because they really do a good job in telling the story. Um, but all in all, like I've been saying, <laughs> this is starting to get repetitive, it's three and a half star book. I don't think I'm going to actually buy it. That's why I mentioned that I got it on ebook from the library because I don't think I'm actually going to go through with purchasing it. But I think that it's definitely worth a read if you can get your hands on it. So thank you guys so much for coming by my channel to talk about the book today. And I hope you guys enjoyed my thoughts. Let me know your thoughts below. As always, like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys around the internet. Bye.